Oakley Doakley, neighborinos. I just want to take a quick peek at the achievement screen. It's pretty standard. It tells you what you need to do to get your achievements. It shows you the status. And there is actually something to go and collect. Those crystal skulls are actually apparently pretty special, so getting all of them gives you that achievement there, which, that's pretty cool. I was sort of wondering if it had any, you know, special items to collect, and I guess those crystal skulls were. Anyway, let's just go ahead and continue back into the, uh, we're in the final world, by the way. It's the graveyard, which makes sense, because this whole thing started in the graveyard. Or a cemetery. Same difference. But this really does not look like a cemetery. At least not any kind of cemetery I've ever seen. I mean, those are a lot of very tall buildings for a cemetery. I also don't recall the roving brain bots in my local cemeteries, but uh, I'll give that one a pass. Alright, I can probably buy things, can't I? Right? No, I cannot. Oh well. Whoa. I guess we didn't run out of achievements. I was thinking, for some reason, there were four worlds, and so we had, you know, two more worlds to go, and I was already almost out of stuff to buy. But I guess if there's only three worlds, the pacing's just about right for that. You know, we'll have everything maxed out before we reach the final boss, but uh, depending on how you just want to design your game and how important the upgrades are to beating the final boss, that's just about right. And if we didn't bother to go and get all the coins and the... Uh, I think we got at least two of the Crystal Skulls. We wouldn't have gotten nearly this much money quite yet. So, pacing's pretty good. I was just thinking the game was a bit longer than it actually is. Which, short games are no problem either. Though I'll note the general platform, you know, these lifts and the, this general foreground stuff hasn't changed very much since the very first area, so I would like to see that a bit more different, especially since the background has changed so much and it looks really nice. Once again, a good use of parallax and it's generally very nice looking backgrounds but the, f the foreground doesn't look as good as the background, which is kind of disappointing. But at the same time, it keeps things simple. You know, not a cluttered foreground. It's always nice, but it could just have a bit more flair and different stuff to it. You know, it could be different for each area. More different. I mean, there are slightly different shades of gray instead of slightly different shades of brown, which is the first area, but that's not very much of a difference now, is it? Lots of robots all of a sudden. I'm kind of assuming the final boss is going to be some kind of robot. Because we've been fighting lots of robots. All of a sudden. Maybe the Minotaurs are robots. Maybe that's why their arms are gray. No, I don't know. Oh, I did want to say, the I really like the music in this game. I forgot to mention that. But it is really nice. Soon those guys explode if they touch you. I've never had it happen. Oh, right, money. Let's buy stuff. Yay! Well, we're maxed out on that kind of stuff. Let's just randomly buy some stupid crap. Let's see, do I want to try it? I'm going to try out what the shotgun actually does. Oh, neat. And yeah, the weapons do actually function a little bit differently. So, trying them out is fun. I just decided to be boring, and I didn't bother to try him out, because I wanted to get my flamethrower. Oh, we're out of money. Let's be idiots and try out the MP3, or the, the MP3, <laughs> this gun, submachine gun, what was I trying to say, MP5, I guess. Actually, this guy's probably a bad test of this gun. It's going to take 18 billion shots. But that's all the more reason to remind us of why we're using the pulse rifle. In fact, let's let's go right back to that pulse rifle. Oh right, the chain gun! I wanted to try the chain gun. Oh well. I wasted my money on stupid guns when I could have tried the chain gun, which is 
presumably still pretty sweet, even though it's not the best gun. Maybe it is the best gun. I kind of doubt that. Because the raw stats, it's got slightly lower damage per second. But I haven't actually got to try that one yet. Whee! Ow. See, this is why I got more health. Because I fall onto things that hurt. Lasers from the sky. Oh, hey, you can aim your gun now. I'm impressed, buddy. Wow. You don't aim it at me, but you're aiming it. This isn't enough, is it? Oh, it's close. Not enough, though. In fact, with all of this money... Yep, just barely enough. Let's try out this mini gun. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. We're gonna stick with this for a minute. Oh, I like this. Why didn't I get this first? Well, because I could already get the pulse rifle. That's the one annoying thing about the guns. There's so little difference in the cost between them. There doesn't seem to be much incentive to get the earlier guns. That I don't particularly like. And that's often a problem in games like this where, you know, I could get this gun that's, you know, say twice as good as my current gun, but it's not, you know, my current gun is doing okay, and if I wait just a little bit more, I can get this gun that's 2.5 times as good as my current gun. So there's just not enough of a, you know, I usually get like, say I'll get halfway through the guns, and that's exactly what I did. I got the flamethrower, then I got the best gun in the game, and I skipped almost everything else. And it's not the worst thing, but I skip all of these guns, and they're all very different, and they're all very fun. So I... That pacing I don't quite care for. There's just so little benefit to upgrading, but by not upgrading, I'm missing some fun stuff. Like this! I missed this! How could I miss frickin' Chain Gun? This is awesome. Look what you made me do. You made me miss the Chain Gun. Oh, well, I suppose I should try out the other guns. Let's try out the stupid, dumb assault rifle, which won't be a Chain Gun. Yeah. So this is basically like the first gun, except double the rate of fire or something. It's not that impressive. It's not a chain gun, that's, that's all I have to say. In fact, I'm probably going to get hit in the butt by that bomb guy right now. I do like that there's a little bit of delay after you unpause the game, because uh, personally, my I have to move my hands between my mouse and my gamepad so, when I switch on the menu, so ow. So if it immediately unpaused, that would be kind of painful. Oh god, suddenly final boss. I think. I guess I should use the best weapon for the final boss. I guess. I'll probably step away from you once you're gonna do the fiery things. Oh, does he actually change up his pattern and start firing more fiery bolts things? Or did he always fire three? Maybe it was Shoot you in the face. Or rather the kind of chest slash crotch area. Well, that was really easy. I didn't take any damage, really. We beat the game with the top hat dude. There's achievements for beating the game with each of the enemy or the characters. Thanks to you, the world is safe again. Yeah. We got a trophy, we got a head on a stick. We've got some pixelated hot chicks. Everything is right with the world. So if you want, you can go back to the boss. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. We'll play as the Psycho. We'll murder some faces. Let's let's do it right this time, though. We're going to play it with the... Oh, wait. Oh, I can't quite buy that. Oh, well. I will show you that rocket launcher real quick, but... 
Let's just shoot you into this for a minute. Like we used to. Like that. And now, let's try the flamethrower. Let's compare that damage per second. It's only slightly better. But it's got range, so... Isn't that just satisfying? Just watch that health burn right away. This is why I got the freaking flamethrower. That and the fact that it's a freaking flamethrower. And I like the... Not lens flare, but the... Whatever flashy effect from the muzzle of the flamethrower there. And as you can see, those beat the game with that character. All you have to do is beat the final boss, not the whole game. So, pretty easy to do that. Yay! But yeah, that's a pretty easy way to get the last of those achievements. What am I missing? Only the Crystal Skulls. So I guess I should have explored more. I'm gonna say I probably won't do a video of me getting the Crystal Skulls, but this is a very fun game. Let's take a peek at the credits, or I guess there aren't credits. But it's made by Wobblyware, which is this is part of their website. You can't see the rest. So yeah, this was cool game and it's made by awesome people.